I'm Andre Lightsey Walker. I'm the Policy Transformation Manager at the Street Trust, and I'm a fourth generation Portlander. So the Street Trust is a membership-based organization that focuses on multimodal transportation options. The first way when I'm trying to connect with folks is just like, what is transportation to you? What does it mean? And then when they recognize that it is inherent to everything that they do, like it is just movement. Everyone can remember, I think, likely the first time they've ridden a bike or, you know, one thing that's culturally so important, uh, at least in our culture, is baby's first steps, right? And so, like, what is that? Why is that so important? It's, it's, it's the development of a new mode of moving through space. Um, and so something that I really like to do is get people trying new modes. We have been investing in auto-centric infrastructure for the last 100 years, and we see the results that come of that. The original Interstate 5 actually barreled through my family's neighborhood in Portland. An additional point about that is the reason they lived in that neighborhood was because they weren't allowed to live anywhere else. So um, the entire governmental body placed vulnerable communities in a certain space, and then it became the path of least resistance like 20 years later. Um, so I think there's not enough conversation surrounding um, imagining new ways of getting around. One key uh, systematic element I recognize is that the organizations that are engaging community should be reflective of the communities they're engaging at all levels. Um, and I don't think many uh, institutions in, in the United States or Oregon are reflective of that. I think we achieve transportation equity by first thinking about who is making decisions about transportation. Um, in a lot of the rooms I sit in today, I still, I, it's, not, it's not 2022, right? We're not, we're not up to the point we need to be in terms of who's at the decision-making tables. And if we want to really see a transformative system, we have to be willing to put transformative people in those seats. I really imagine a, a, a whole multimodal system where, you know, we really share the road. Car scoot over, take one of those lanes and give it to 10 other modes, you know? As we think through transportation projects, it will be very, very important for us to recognize the impact that they have on the people that live in those areas um, and make sure that we are doing the groundwork necessary to ensure that the people that we're building the transportation system for are able to benefit from it when it actually is built out. I've been here long enough to see extensive amounts of change and what I try to do is be true to Portland in myself and I think for me that just means like being kind and welcoming new people um, and like celebrating. Portland has always celebrated different ways of doing things. I think transportation planning for so long has actually been very disconnected from community members. Um, and so what we wanna do is get in the community, let them know that they actually do have the power and show them that they have the power to make changes.